Hey, Fire Signs. It's Nicola. So this is for Thursday, April the 30th, 2007. This is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. What messages or guidance do we have for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What guidance do we have for Aries? Whoa. Whoa. What messages, what guidance do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What the f Aries! y'all got going on well taurus the whole deck fell out my hand for taurus what messages all right aries gonna take these two y'all ain't y'all ain't playing a day all right so for aries the first card we have is angel of expression it says speak your truth and express yourself clearly okay we also have angel of pleasure it says take pleasure in the things you do okay then so take pleasure in speaking your truth okay speak clearly let it all out. What messages do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Messages guidance for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages? All right, Leo. We have Goddess of Sacred Power. It says you are being encouraged to take a leading role in your current situation. All right, Leo. Take the lead. Time to take control. What messages do we have for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Angel of a New Life. It says an exciting new chapter is in your says an, an exciting new chapter in your life is about to unfold so the underlying energy the underlying energy for my fire signs is an angel of manifestation it says your efforts determination and perseverance have paid off so let's see what messages we have bring my water and leave that alone all right so let's see what messages we have this is for so the Wheel of Fortune pop out. Okay, there's some changes. My water right there on the table. What messages, what guidance do we have for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Messages, guidance, thank you. Messages, guidance for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm sorry. And put the water jug in the refrigerator. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for Thursday, April the 30th. 2020. What message for guidance do we have? God. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages for guidance do we have? For Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, April the 30th, 2020. Messages guidance for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I hope I didn't say August, but I mean, it, it, it wouldn't surprise me if I did because that's what be happening sometimes. Chariot here, Cancerian energy here, Hermit. Some of you guys are thinking about taking action, moving forward. I feel like the decision is a good one. Justice, look at God. Um, I feel like the decision is a good one. You could have had some fears. Justice and devil is karmic. Mmm. Mmm. Five of swords here. Mmm. Oh, four of cups here. God damn it. It's getting... It's, it's, okay, it got better toward the end. So full energy here. Somebody's taking a leap of faith. I feel like someone is in the space of doing what is right. I feel like there is someone on the exterior that could have some questionable motives. Um, I feel like you're not going to take it. Not going to accept that cup. Okay, so someone could be extending a cup to you. Um, they have some questionable motives here. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Libra. Could be dealing with a Cancer. Either way it go, I feel like someone has not so good intentions. And I feel like you're in a space of seeing straight through the bullshit. Hmm. Hmm. Woo! Alright, so Justice here. Why is the Justice card here? We have the Knight of Swords here with the Seven of Swords. Hmm. I mean the Knight of Cups. Shit. Um, Knight of Cups here with the Seven of Swords. Yep. Could be a Libra here coming in with an offer here. Um, there's some un some instability with this offer. Four of Pentacles here. Someone could be in a space of trying to hold on or secure something. Five of Pentacles here because they're worried here about someone gaining their independence. This is nine Pentacles. So someone's worried about someone gaining their independence. Maybe coming in. Now it may not be a Libra. It could be any sign. But someone is coming in. Um, it looks like coming in looking like they're coming with the truth. But in actuality it's karma. Um, they're just trying to weigh out their position to see if they can secure it 
I feel like you know this, especially with that Five of Swords devil here. This is a toxic situation. Did we talk about this yesterday? Yeah, yesterday you were ready to end the cycle. Today, I feel like you're doing what's right. And I feel like you're escaping the cycle. Balance your emotions and moving away from this shit. Why is this devil energy here? Hermit here, really thinking. Some of you guys think that this is toxic. High priestess, you're following your intuition. Listen, all this devil, you have one, two, three, four major arcana. So this is definitely a karmic cycle here. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you know you've made an unwise decision. But I feel like you're like... You're ready to walk away from it. You're some of you guys, you're just throwing down the swords. You're like, listen, you can have this shit. I am done. So you're close like you see me like this, you're like, mm, mm I'm good. I don't want it. I don't want it. You can keep it. Keep your funky ass cup. Um <laughs> But I feel like for a lot of you guys, lovers here with the chariot here, you've made the decision to move away from this. You see that it's toxic, you see it's low vibration, you see someone's trying to keep you restricted, trying to hold on to you. You don't want that. And you know that while they're trying to hold on to you because they're toxic and you don't want that. You you want to move. You want to escape that. You want to get away from that. So five of swords here in the surrounding energy. There could be a fight. There could be a fight, especially if someone feels like you're rejecting them um, with good reason. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, someone doesn't want to lose that. Someone doesn't want to gain their independence. Someone doesn't want you to gain your independence. Four of Wands here, Nine of Wands. Someone's resisting completing the cycle. Eight of Swords here because they're lacking confidence of remove. They're lacking confidence within themselves. So some of you guys, I feel like you dealt with a person that is not confident within themselves. They are not secure within themselves. And I feel like they see that you're wanting to move forward away from them you're turning down their cup really wanting abundance for self you want to be happy so some of you guys you're walking away from situations you want to be happy this person is not happy but you want to be happy and that's some toxic ass shit if somebody doesn't want to see you happy they don't need to be in your life four of cups here why is this four of cups here that's the that's a very toxic trait when you're with someone and they do everything in their power to keep you from seeing happiness unless it comes from them don't make no goddamn sense all right queen of wands here you're definitely in a space of moving in a new direction ten of swords here yeah you're embracing the end of a difficult situation really in a space you're being you have been being methodical i feel like you're just unhappy with whatever this is so you're doing what's right for you and you're taking a leap of faith and moving away from this situation four of swords here retreating i feel like you're in alignment with standing up for what you believe nurturing your own foundation why is this fool energy here eight of cups Whew. so some of you guys eight of cups in reverse I feel like you've already walked away now you could be allowing someone else to walk away especially if there's been a fight um I don't really think you give a fuck three of wands here with the ace of pentacles I feel like you're manifesting a new um path a new life even through fear I feel like you're facing your fears and knight of swords taking action you're taking a leap of faith some of you guys are walking by faith with this situation you don't want to continue to deal with low vibration toxic vibrations you don't want to keep dealing with a person that because they are in the space of not being secure within themselves they're dragging you down as well you're very much over that so for a lot of you guys you're cutting away a situation moving forward within your life moving toward victory it was toxic and you know it and they know it that's the key not just that you know it they know it too but they're still holding on because they're not confident in letting go so let's see what messages we have this is for if, if this ain't you it could be someone that you're dealing with they could be in a space of moving forward away from a toxic situation you know take it how it resonates it may not even resonate with you it may not be your story so let's see what messages we have this is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus moving forward what messages what guidance do you have for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Rising, and Venus, moving forward. What guidance do we have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, all right, Aries. We got the past. So for a lot of you guys, this could be, I feel like there's some memories of the past that could be changing or something from your past could be making a fortunate change here. All right. What messages do we have for Leo? Could also just be look, thinking about memories of the past. Leo, we got romantic love. Taurus got this too. Okay, damn. Hmm. What messages, what guidance do we have for a Sagittarius? And before somebody be under here like, oh, what Leo you talk to? I don't talk to no Leo. I'm the, I don't talk to no Leo. Okay. <laughs> I don't talk to no Leo. <laughs> it's just Taurus shared that. 
think it was I think it was neat. What messages do we have, Sagittarius? We have devotion. Um, Virgo had this. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, right now, this is either about some devotion to, for a lot of you guys, you're devoted to a, a past love or a past love is devoted to you. Um, okay. Okay. I feel like you're looking toward the future, though. <laughs> Look, underneath all this, we got the future. So even though a past love may be devoted to you, you may be devoted to a romantic partner in your future. Um, not saying that this person is not from your past, but you know what I mean when I say there's a toxic person in your past that will not let you go. Let them get the fuck off. This is all I have. Until next time, y'all.